Hey guys, Tim here, Big Dog Forge. Welcome back, glad to see you in the shop. So uh, this time around, we're gonna try an experiment and it's a complete ground up experiment. It's one of those things you see it and you know there's a way to do it, but you don't have any information on it. So I've not seen any videos on this. I don't, uh, I've not talked to anybody that's done it. So anyway, what we're gonna try is uh, some Skull Damascus. And I've got an idea of how I'm gonna do it. And I don't expect too much from this, to be honest with you, only because I'm going to do it in a canister weld, and which I've always had a little bit of trouble with. The tooling and the dies and the jigs and stuff that I have, I'm going to use what I've got, uh, and I'm going to come up with, like, with what I can to sort of cobble together something that looks like a skull. Um, it may not, it might, but the point here is, is that we're going to make a shape and see if we can get it to come out in the Damascus. And so that's what it's all about this week. First, we're gonna open a, a little bit of mail and then we'll get right into it. So let's go open some mail. <laughs> all right, stick with me guys. Thanks, see you soon, bye. Okay guys, mail time. First one is from Fix It With A Biscuit, Dallas, Oregon. A big Doug Ford or something. Stick it out there, you see it? wonder what it could be. Let's find out. Ah! It's an anvil. And it looks like it was 3D printed and it says right on it, can you see it? Can you see it? Big Dog Forge. That is freaking awesome. It's even got the hardy hole and the pritchel hole in it. So cool. Very awesome. We've got just the place for that. This is just like my big one. Awesome, awesome. All right, letter, hold on, let's see what it says. Hey, big dog, I was playing around with my 3D printer and an anvil appeared on it with your name. So I figured I'd better send it to you. P.S. Look forward to seeing more of your videos from Fix It With A Biscuit. Thanks. Really appreciate it. That is so cool. I've got just the place for that. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So very cool. All right. This springtime fox looks like something ordered on the internet and sent to me. Let's find out what it is. I'm not sure who it came from yet. sharpen my knife. What's this? What's this? Oh, very cool. These were sent to me by Philip Taylor. Very, very nice. Very neat. It's a folder. Wood handle. And he asked me if I would make a Damascus, whoop, can you, Damascus blade to fit here and replace this with. And I told him that I would do that. And I think, I think you got one for each of us. Those are freaking cool. Open all carbon. Very nice. Philip, awesome. I will get to work on these very soon. Very, very nice. That'd be a great carry knife. It's perfect size. Nice action to it. Very, very nice. Okay. Get to work on those soon, Philip. Thanks, sir. 
Okie doke, what else we got? Uh, Scott Cook. The Big Dog Forge. Hey, Big Dog, love your videos. Thank you very much. Thanks for the inspiration. I thought you might like some vinyl stickers. I also make vinyl stencils for electro etching. Blades, enjoy. Very cool. Okay, let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Big Dog Forge. Look at that. Nice work. Look at that. There's just a place for that. Scrappy and Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. BV. Boom Paws Vinyl. BP. BV. Scrappy, I know where these are going. Floyd, <laughs> very cool. Boom Paws Forge. That's what it said on the bottom of the note. So you'll find them on Facebook. Let's see what else we got. Hey Scott, good job, man. Now we got this thing. It's big and it's heavy. And it's from Jason Nichols. What did Jason send us? Holy moly. That is a blade off something. Let's see. Let's see if there's a what are there a letter in here? Letter, letter, letter. Ooh. Forklift chain. That stuff is so cool. All the areas in between are mostly already full. So when you forge all this stuff together, you can get a lot of material out of just a small amount of chain because you don't have to fill up all those empty spaces. That's some nice stuff. Wow. That's gonna make some great Damascus. Oh, holy moly, this stuff's still in the bag. Nice. That'll make even a different pattern than, than this one. Beer chain. That is so very cool. So very cool. Oh, this will last me for a year. Ooh. Holy moly, it must have cost you a fortune to ship this. Very nice. Very cool. All right. Take me a rag to wipe my hand off with. It's greasy. So, Jason Nichols, thank you so very much. That's really freaking cool. That's going to make some awesome Damascus. And it's so new, I won't have to do much to it, except clean it up. Very, very cool. All right. There we go, guys. That's all the mail for this time around. Thank you, thank you so much. Scrappy. Floyd, Big Dog Forge, Boompa Forge on the propane tank. Alright guys, we're going to do a little drawing here real quick of what we can make with what we've got. And uh, going to make it super simple. I typically don't do drawings, but uh, 
and I gotta figure something out here and it's looking a little Darth Vader-ish but yeah what the heck it's what we can do you know fix that nose will you all right thank you okay let's get into this so this is a piece of 15 and 20 saw blade material and we built this little mandrel we're going to cut this thing out real quick and that's going to end up being the top of our skull and we've got a about a three inch by three inch canister that's four inches long that we're going to be using so everything we're making here is going to be four inches long to extend through that canister and it doesn't have to be perfect on the ends. Once we get everything assembled, we'll grind the ends down to make it the right length. All right, so we're gonna tack weld this thing on here. So we're gonna wrap it around. And we're just gonna stick it in front of the forge to heat it up. And sheet metal should heat pretty quickly. And we'll get it into the vise and bend it around that thing you know, two or three times. And we'll be able to clamp that bottom right down to that little post, suck it around that thing, make ourselves a nice round curve, we'll cut it off with a cutoff wheel. And this is going to be the top of our skull, or in this case, our Darth Vader helmet. It's a dark helmet skull. Yeah. Anyway, so this is a shotgun barrel. It was sent to me by, I think it was Drayson69. Anyway, when I got this thing, I knew exactly what I was going to do with it. So thank you very much, Drayson. And I cut off the end of it, and we're going to use this for our eyeballs and our skull. Now these pieces that are the barrel supports between them, these things are silver soldered on. So uh, we're going to have to get, I'm going to take the large one off. The one on the other side is a little smaller. I'm going to leave it to hold the eyes together. And I'll have to clean all that silver solder out of there. It causes some inclusions. And this is the long side of our skull. The dome part. And we're going to cut that off. So it's even with the other side. So I have a shape to start with. Alright. And on the sides we're going to put those little notches in that kind of resemble some, I don't know, cheekbones, the bottom of the helmet, I'm not sure, and we'll heat it up, and we're going to drive this piece of stainless down into it, make it a little smaller, bring it around, and drop it, and we're just dressing up the uh, um, bottom edge of the helmet skull, all right. I'm going to set that aside, and we're going to work on some teeth. So this is more 15 and 20, and I'm cutting these strips about three quarters of an inch wide. And they're going to be four inches long as well to extend all the way through that canister. And this will go across the bottom of the teeth. Now this is a piece of uh, 1095. I want those individual teeth. I thought about boxing them in with more of 15 and 20 at the bottom, but uh, I wasn't really sure. I didn't know how to look. So, And it's really close to that canister. And if they blend together, that mild steel and the 15 and 20 will not be discernible. Alrighty. So there's our three center teeth. Have one on the outside on either side. I'm going to use the same piece of quarter inch flat stock to separate that. So there's a quarter of an inch between each one of these teeth. And it took a little bit of messing around to get this thing aligned up there, but we got her. And we'll tack those outside guys on, one on either side. And we made this to fit between the bottoms of the cheekbones. All right. Another piece of 15 and 20. We put a little groove in it with our V-jaw tool. And we welded that between the barrels of the shotgun as a nose. 
Alright, those fit in there. And there we have it. That's going to be our skull that runs through our canister. And get our eyes lined up there so we know where to tack them onto that base plate. And the base plate that, it, that I'm tacking it onto is the bottom cap of our canister that you see there. And that canister is just a little over an eighth of an inch thick, so I'm a little worried about it blowing out. But let's see what we can do about doing this right and not destroying it. All right. Getting lined up. And I'm just tacking it in the corners. And the material that we're going to put in the empty spaces should hold everything in alignment while we're forging it. And get this can on here. And it's a little off, but we can fix that. Get the corner tacked on. I'll flip it over. And move it around a little bit. Line it up where we need it. And we got plenty of room on that base plate to get it welded into place. I'll we'll put some good welds on this thing. There we go. Alright, so we put some uh, muriatic acid in it to clean it all up, getting bad out of there. Now these are BBs, and uh, we soaked them in muriatic to get the zinc off the outside of them. I had a subscriber asking me if we ever done anything with BBs, and I hadn't, so we're going to try some with this. We're going to do a couple of different things with this skull. So we taped everything off that we didn't want to get stuff into and this is iron powder and we're going to figure out how many scoops of iron powder we have on this piece of paper with our big spoon and it looks like we got yeah seven and a half eight that's uh 1084 powdered steel and we'll put five scoops in there uh, we have a little more iron powder in there. It should give us a little lighter color and uh, still have some carbon in it. What we're going to do is we're going to fill up the first inch of the skull down towards the bottom, even it all out with this iron and 1084 mixture. And just measuring to make sure it's uh, kind of level down there. Now these are the BBs we cleaned up. I'm not really sure what they're made of. They're, uh, I think they're a mid-carbon steel, but it's difficult to spark test them. They go way too quick. And we're going to mix that with some 1084 powder all the way up to the top. So the last three inches of this thing is BBs and 1084 in the skull. All right, get the tape off those eyes. And everything else is going to be, well, wait a minute. Let's get some ball bearings. We're going to drop a couple of ball bearings down into the bottom there. There's maybe two or three on either side. See what kind of an effect that gives us. And the rest of it we're just going to fill up with 1084 powder all the way to the top. So we should get some kind of a contrast between those BBs, the 1084 on one end, and on the other end we've got the iron powder and 1084 mix, which should give us something else. All right, there's our cap. And it's sitting on top, so we're going to do multiple welds. We're going to do a decent pass there. And we went one above, one below. Get our handle under this thing so we can get it in the forge here. All right, so I added a burner to the forge, and I insulated it really well, so we get this thing up to heat. And it felt really good in the press, the first go-around. And this is really why I decided to do this, because there's not a lot of hammering in it. And I can just use the press, save my body a little bit, trying to heal up. So we're taking it down, that little kiss block is an inch and a half. We're going to take this down to an inch and a half square. And we'll put it back in some more uh, squaring dies. You get rid of any chunks or anything in it. 
There we go. It's our inch and a half squaring dies. And we'll get this thing onto the anvil and get her cooled off so we can cut it up, do a little etching on it, see what she looks like. Alrighty. Didn't take a while to cool down, but there we go. So, at the ends where I made the mark on either end, you can see those bulges. That's where the canister lids bulged out. And we're going to cut one end off, and then we'll just cut it down the middle. So we'll end up with a pretty good representation of the BB half and the half with the uh, iron powder. And we let it soak about, you know, 20 minutes, a little less than that. And this is what we came up with. Now, this is the iron powder end. It's a little weird. Kind of a ghosty looking Darth Vader helmet looking maybe skull. I don't know. I don't know. But it was a success. Looks like there's not too many inclusions in there. And then this is the end with the ball bearings. And one little black spot there in the middle, but it's solid. It doesn't seem to have a pit running down into it. And it looks kind of funky. I'm not sure which end of this thing I like better. But uh, it was definitely a learning experience. Our first experiment was Skull Damascus. Let me know what you think. Well, there you go, guys. Another one down. Um, I'm going to call that a success. I was able to successfully get a pattern to come out in that steel. It's somewhat skull-shaped. That one's been crimped down a little bit on the corners by the press. Figure out a little better way to do that, maybe. And uh, there you go. And that's the end with the BBs in it. I think I like this end a little bit better, but we definitely need to get a little bit better skull shape in there. And that piece of 1095 across the bottom, you can kind of see that. I'm glad I didn't put uh, 15 and 20 there. Teeth would have come all the way down to the canister. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll keep experimenting with it. I think I'm going to take this and cut it into some chunks and stack it and make a bar out of it and see what kind of a mosaic pattern we can make with this before we move on and experiment with some more but it's definitely something I want to keep pursuing um, kind of fascinated with it and I want to see if I can come up with something that looks a little more like a skull I wanted to thank everybody for tuning in and all of you guys that have subscribed recently thank you very much if you like the skull Damascus why don't you hit the like button a little bit and then uh, subscribe if you haven't so, like, share, and subscribe. Be a good thing. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for stopping by Big Dog Forge. We'll see you next time. Take care and be safe.